Hi everyone, welcome to LumoVest. This video is part of our series on investment banking technical questions. The interview question we're going to go over today is, which valuation method gives the highest valuation? This often appears as a follow-up question to the what are the different valuation methodologies question. You should check out that video if you haven't seen it yet. Here's what you can say for your answer. It depends. Sometimes, it's precedent transactions because they include control premium. Occasionally, it's public comparables if the market is trading at record high multiples. And it can also be DCF if we use very optimistic assumptions. So there isn't one valuation methodology that always gives the highest valuation. It varies. And that's all you have to say. The most common mistake I see candidates make is answering this question by specifying one single methodology. Candidates usually say precedent transactions and identify control premium as the reason. But in reality, when we look at the valuation football field for companies we work on, precedent transactions definitely does not always give the highest valuation. Sometimes it does, and plenty of times it does not. So the method that would give you the highest valuation varies from company to company.